What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna go through um, installing the Cobb access port to uh, Subarus. It's pretty much universal how you do it. The only thing that differs is there may be a jumper or um, a pin or a clip that you have to connect beforehand depending on your make and model of car, but almost all of the um, installation instructions are the same. All right guys. So I've got my access port plugged into the computer and I've got the Cobb access port manager pulled up on here. As you can see, it says that there are updates available. Um, you can see down in the bottom there, it says there's new firmware. So we're gonna go ahead and click the update button and begin firmware update. And we're gonna let it update right now. So I'm gonna take you out to the Subaru and show you how we flash a tune to it. So right here in my 2006 Subaru Legacy GT, there's a set of green connectors that you do have to connect and that's in the passenger footwell under the carpet by the glove box. So it's way up in there. I know in the older WRX they're on the driver's side, but in here on the Legacies they're in the passenger side. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the cable to the OBD2 port, which is underneath the steering wheel and I will get right back to you. the green connectors connected, got the access port here. You're gonna to wanna to plug your access port into the OBD connector underneath the steering wheel and it'll come up with this screen. So the next thing is you're gonna to wanna to put your key in the on position. Alrighty. We're gonna take this down to tune and you'll hear the air conditioner cycling, that's normal. We're gonna click change map since I'm just changing the map. We're gonna click reflash, since I'm fully reflashing and not just doing a temporary change. Then we're gonna go down to the stage two plus map. Okay. Please turn and leave the ignition in the off position to begin vehicle reinitialization. So now I got a turbo timer, so make sure you kill the turbo timer. Please disconnect the green test mode connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect those now. Please turn the key to the on position. Change map successful. Please turn key to the off position for 15 seconds. Make sure you kill your turbo timer. So off. Kill the turbo timer. Now we wait. All right guys, something I wanna talk about real quick. Your first startup is gonna be a little rough because it's got new information in the ECU and your computer's gonna take a little while to learn it. So if it takes a little while to crank over after flashing a new map, it's normal, don't worry about it. As long as it cranks over after a few goes, you're good to go. It shouldn't do it the second time. So here we go. Good to go? Gonna turn it back on. See? So that's it, that's how you flash Cobb access port. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, peace.